A final farewell to a fallen firefighter killed in the line of duty. The Lower Marion community coming together in Ardmore to say goodbye to a hero. Our Marcus Espinoza has more on the solemn salute to Thomas Royds. A grieving Montgomery County community coming together to pay its respects to a fallen firefighter, Thomas Royds, just 48 years old, who spent more than three decades protecting others, lost his life on July 24th when he and three others, two firefighters and a state trooper, were hit by a suspected drunk driver on the Schuylkill Expressway. She came around and, and, and you know, killed Tommy and, and seriously injured two others, Sam and Alex. Family, friends, and loved ones choking back tears as they remembered the man they called Tommy. Just a just a big, lovable guy, you know. Uh, we played softball against each other when the companies had the teams, and he was a catcher, and you never got by him. It was unbelievable. You bounce off him, but but he uh, one of the nicest guys you'd, you'd ever want to meet. Now they're focused on being there for the family, including the two sons and daughter. Roy's leaves behind and honoring his legacy. You try to be there for the family as best you can and honor Tommy. You know, and you honor the phone by getting back on the truck and answering the call. So that's what that's what we're going to do. And they have one simple message for anyone within the sound of their voices. So hopefully people get educated, you know, move over when you see emergency vehicles. Stop. Don't drink and drive. You know, it's common sense. As for the other two firefighters, they have been released from the hospital. No word on the injured state trooper's condition. 63-year-old Jacqueline Walker of Little Egg Harbor, New Jersey, has been charged with vehicular homicide while DUI, involuntary manslaughter, and other offenses. She's due back in court next week. In Ardmore, Marcus Espinoza, Fox 29 News.